War has been raging through Ukraine for well over a year now. Two weeks after Russia invaded last February, Utahns stepped up in every way they could. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree shows us how one local nonprofit continues to lead the charge in helping Ukraine win the war. So the best way to help is not only to help them win the war, but to help the people that need it right now and start looking towards rebuilding now because now is the time. Over the last year, August Mission has raised millions of dollars to help displaced Ukrainian refugees. Last month, CEO Bruce Roberts led a delegation of business leaders and elected officials to meet with diplomats in Ukraine. All we wanted to do was bring some businesses to Ukraine and make some relationships that would drive investment, that would drive jobs, that would uh, be mutually beneficial and that would help the people there. Utah tech leaders volunteered to make a hiring website for Ukrainians looking for remote work. One thing we've done is try to uh, make sure people are aware that there are great Ukrainian software engineers, designers, and, and people that have other skills that are very valuable in the world of tech that are open for work and they need work. The Utahns even got to meet President Volodymyr Zelensky. He is informal, he's down to earth, he's approachable, and he's exhausted. I mean, he's been just working so hard on behalf of his country for so long now, and he's just asking for help. He's not asking for anyone to do it for him. He's just asking for us to help him win. Not only was this the first time Utah's World Trade Center took a delegation into an active war zone, this was also the first state delegation in the U.S. to go to Ukraine since the war began. In one small town that we went to, there were billboards that the mayor put up thanking the people of Utah for their generosity because there's been so much that, that's already happened to re rebuild their homes. After the most recent Russian attack on a Ukrainian dam, thousands are displaced and in need of help. Robert says August Mission will keep raising money for the people of Ukraine until the war is over. There is a very strong need still. The war is very real. There are still millions of people displaced. There are still thousands of people being killed every day. And there are still people being affected um, by the most recent missile strikes and by the breaking of the dam. In Salt Lake City, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah. Well, this past weekend, Utah's Ukrainian community held a meeting in Draper to discuss the devastating dam destruction. Take a listen. The size and scale of that natural disaster is something where we need something on the scale of the UN, Red Cross, and of course that would require the combination, the, the cooperation of, of Russia. And not only would they not do that, but locals who've been trying to rescue people just floating in the water are being shot at by the Russian side. So that's that's what we're we're contending with. And mm, the group meets monthly to discuss the war and its impact on their families. We continue to keep them on our mind.